everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Plays, and I'm in Daytona Beach uh, at the Dancing Avocado Kitchen with Chef Mario. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Great, great. That's awesome. Okay. So, like, um, how did you think of this event? Because it's really cool. Um, truly, the first time that we did a Moravo, <clears throat> we were we purchased some very small dishes, close to 200 very small dishes, and we were doing a party for 13-year-olds. And so my son, who at the time was about 18, he said, I want to do a party with a bunch of small dishes. And we sent them out. Uh, we did 13 courses. Uh, they weren't maybe so culinarily complex as you might think, but the kids liked that so much because it was a little bite and something fun and another little bite. And so we thought, wow, adults would really like this. So believe it or not, it started out as a really weird 13-year-old birthday party fun thing that just never stopped. Awesome. That's really cool, though. So, like, what is a vegetarian? Well, there's a number of different vegetarians. Um, there can be, for instance, tonight's event was Octo Lavo vegetarian, so that is someone who eats eggs and cheese. And then you can have somebody that is a vegetarian who wouldn't eat eggs and cheese. You can have a vegetarian that considers himself a pescatarian, so they're going to eat fish. And then a vegan would be somebody that would... Um, not eat any animal products. So a vegan would not, in, under any circumstance, eat like Jello, honey, or maraschino cherry because all of those come from some kind of an animal product. Yeah, definitely. Okay, cool. So, um, how does a, ve a vegetarian differ from like a vegan? Mostly, um, a Vegans come from two places. They come from political views and then health views. Okay. So sometimes they would be very anti how animals are being treated, which I would consider to be kind of a political view. And then sometimes they would come from a health standpoint where they just don't believe that dairy or eggs or fish or meat of any kind belong in the diet. So the vegetarians are going to eat vegetables sometimes plus and the vegan is going to eat vegetables and beans and rice only. They're not going to eat any dairy or any animal products or anything that comes from an animal product. Tonight we had the um, My Best Friend's Brulee and you saw that small agar agar jello which was made from fresh strawberries and we went very light on the sugar. We didn't want it to be very sweet but agar's a jello that's made from seaweed and regular jello is made from a cow hoof. So I guess either way you like it they sound kind of yeah. weird. But we made ours tonight out of the agar agar. Awesome. That's really cool, though. Okay. So um, I've heard, like, it's more than, you know, just not eating meat. It's about, like, like a difference in the environment. So. Yeah. Um, and once again, political. Yeah. Um, why does somebody might not throw trash out the door of their car because they don't want to get in trouble? And then somebody else might not throw trash outside because they realize it's going to sit there and it's going to rot. And this is my grandchildren's world. So people are eating meat or not eating meat for a host of different reasons. And I think what the Avocado Kitchen is trying to do is just give them options mm -hmm. for whatever it is that they do. I mean, we have actually some people that come in and they only drink juice. They don't eat wow. solid food at all for 10 or 20 days at a time. And they, their health does quite well. And so we're just trying to give them options other than greasy, salty, sugary. Yeah, definitely. That's good then. Okay. So staying healthy and eating good is important for teens um, like me who are vegetarians. Um, so what foods do you recommend? Wow. First off, I would say learn how to stir fry because a lot of vegetables cooked in a wok are absolutely amazing. Learn how to steam. I think the thing that I feel the worst for is children of parents that like boil broccoli for three hours in a pot or they make yellow squash into mush. If you take yellow squash and you put olive oil and garlic and salt and pepper and put it on an open fire, you have one of the most delicious vegetables in the world. But sometimes people have a phobia because you have to eat your peas before you go to bed and that can create a vegetable issue for them that really shouldn't be there. Yeah. But I would just say start with the bright, steamy, fresh green vegetables. Um, there are a lot of tofu products out there. I think the one thing you should never do is eat raw tofu. Oh, I think yeah, kids sure. pick it up and it looks like cheese and they bite into it and then they go, I don't want to have anything to do with tofu. If you cook tofu right, it's amazingly good. Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you so much, Patty. <laughs>